What's up, Sim Racers? TGR Sim here, and looky here. The uh, mail servers dropped me off a new package. Samsung should be my Samsung Odyssey uh, VR headset. We'll jump into it now. I've already been using a Rift for a long time. Really like my Rift, but there is, you know, I want to bump in, uh, the bump in resolution, and I was wanting to get the Vive Pro. But I didn't want to spend eight hundred dollars for it because to me that wasn't wasn't worth it. The juice wasn't worth the squeeze. And then if you wanted the wands and all that, you got a package of like thirteen hundred dollars. It's just ridiculous. So mainly since I use it for sim racing, this made more sense to get a bump in resolution and minimize a little bit more of the screen door effect. So let's try it out. Oh, and note my Rift. One of my uh, earbuds had actually went out my right one on the uh but i think it's just the cable itself because the uh the um the earbud will work uh occasionally if you wiggle the wire uh so this came in at a pretty good time links below to the amazon affiliate link this is actually on sale at this particular time of the video for four hundred dollars so that is not a bad price now Keep in mind, you will need a Bluetooth USB adapter. This was like 12 bucks. Just did it as a package deal. That's what you'll need to recognize it. Just gonna do an old fashioned unboxing. Let's just see what's in the box. I've heard these boxes weren't all that great and there's not a lot of fanciness to it as you can see. But let's just show you real quick what it is. Get some batteries, normal stuff. The uh, user manual comes packaged actually not too bad, I don't think. It's got some foam in it. User manual, okay, cleaning cloth. Let's see if that's all that's in there. Yep, that's all that's in there. Leave that in there because, you know, I'll probably never look at it. We'll use this though. All right, so what you get looks like two wands and a headset. Check out the wands real quick. For me, this is a early Father's Day present. <laughs> I might have to package it back up because this isn't Father's Day yet. <laughs> anyway, here's the one. Feels pretty good. This is obviously the right hand one. Nice click sound. That pushes down. I noticed when you push this down, you, you want to automatically squeeze the bottom trigger as well. I don't know if this is motion as far as it feeling you track, kind of like the uh, uh, the Steam VR controller has. I doubt it, but I don't know, who knows? I'll get into it later and see. It's a really big wand compared to the uh, the Rift's wands are, are just ergonomically feel way better. First impressions, these wands, I don't really like them. They feel like they want to slide out of my hand. Uh, not that they're slick. It's just that I don't feel like it's encompassing my hand but as as i said before i'm really using this for sim racing i don't really care about the wands i will of course run them through their paces let you know what i think all right other ones always the same thing voila another one left-hander All feels the same. Huge, huge. Both together. So yeah, you definitely feel like you want to use the wrist straps on these to not lose them out of your hands. Uh, whereas like the riffs, you, you don't really feel the need to use them. Not bad, not overall, not too bad, but uh, they feel just a little too slick to me. And uh, like, I wonder if you're gonna throw it, I'm gonna literally throw this wand out of my hand. <laughs> But anyway, let's check it out. Here is the best part, HMD. Obviously nothing else in the box. Let me unwrap this here. Pull her out. Nice. It's not too heavy to me. I've heard a lot of people say it's, it's heavy. The cable's definitely a lot heavier 
<laughs> than the wand is. Get this in focus here. Nice, pretty uh, screen here. I like the screen, or as far as the uh, shininess. Now it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, from what I understand. Let's get our fingerprints on it. Let's see if it shows up. Yep, it shows up. So, oh well. You can always put a skin on it, and you, right here is the two front sensors. And that's the part where I've read that if you're using the wands, if they don't come in contact, like if you're picking up a, a uh, try to keep this in focus, if you're picking up something on your back, you're out of sight of the sensors and it doesn't get it. So that's the only downside. It looks kind of like a uh, PSVR sensor. There's the lenses, these little uh, shields from light in there. And uh feels like it got a little, yeah, protective tape on it. We'll pull it, peel that off when I get into it. A little protective tape here on both lenses. I wonder if it would affect your sight if you left that on. That would be a good protection on there. And it already comes on it. You know what I mean? I wonder. I'm going to try it with it on, actually, at first to see if it hinders my, my viewing experience. Uh neat thing about this one being that it only requires two cables or two hookups. Uh, you've got your HDMI and USB 3.0, so it's very minimal hookup. Uh, being that you don't need sensors around your room, it's all encompassing on this. I like it. Uh, as far as comfort, this is kind of like a leatherette feel. This is very cushiony back here. I like that. That's very, very nice. This, as you can see, ratches it. Makes a click sound going in, smooth sound going out. AKG headphones, they don't really pop far out like the riffs do. Um, but they should, from what I understand, sound about the same. I like this leatherette uh, feel. It feels good. I'm sure it's not very, uh, or the earbuds actually feel really nice. It's almost a little softer feeling. No, it's about the same. We all feel the same. I guess because you got a little bit of uh, distance behind it, it feels a little softer to me. But anyway, it feels really nice and and uh, like it'll be very comfortable on it. But what I like about it is the riffs absorb all my sweat. And uh, even if you wipe off your brow, it doesn't matter because you're sticking it back on your face. And uh, <laughs> it just holds the sweat in. It's almost like you have to have removable ones. Where this one, you can just wipe it off and keep playing, uh, especially when you're switching back and forth. Maybe your wife wants to get in on it, your girlfriend, you're like kind of grossed out you sweat it on it, you know, so, and vice versa, obviously. Anyway, uh, that's just a quick unboxing of this. I will go over uh, in detail. I will punch it through its paces uh, using Project Cars 2, R Factor 2, I Racing, the Saddle Course, a Race Room, all the greats out there, and we'll see how it turns out. And how much better resolution there is. I don't know if I'll go into showing you resolution differences between the Rift and this because, frankly, it's already been done on the uh, on YouTube. But I will give you my impressions of this uh, using the up, you know upgraded VR resolution. You know, do I notice a big difference? And as well as with motion. So we'll see how it. You know, when you're moving around in motion, if it's going to be affected much. It shouldn't be, being that I'm using the next level race in motion uh, rig, because you can set the uh, VR motion smoothness within the software itself. So that is a nice thing to have for, uh, for excuse me, for my motion rig. So, oh, real quick, this is a nice feature I did like. It has these... Uh, volume rocker right here and this is the IPD adjustment uh, it goes up to 72 actually uh, which is pretty good my rift goes to 71 is what I see on there and I generally run around 70 on mine so uh, nice I like it feels good you know only the wires are actually heavier than the headset the headsets didn't feel heavy it's just the wires <laughs> so yeah pretty good I like it anyway Stay tuned for more. Just a quick look at it. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot, but I will tell you if I don't. 
See you next time. I'm out.